use this defensive play to go ahead and confuse your opponent, get coverage sacks and sacks, and stop the run. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So I'm going to talk about one of the uh, base defenses I ran a lot in the second half of uh, Madden 18 uh, last year. And this base defense works just as effective in Madden 19. It's amazing on how a lot of the strategies and techniques and concepts from Madden 18 carried over to 19. So I want to show you this base play and all the different types of adjustments that I use. Uh, this is going to be a formation I'm going to be jumping into because I'm moving over to the Detroit uh, defensive playbook uh, just so I can have access to 43. Now what's cool about this particular play the safety blitz 3 which is I'll be breaking down multiple adjustments and different coverages and shells is that you can find this in the Browns, you can find it in the Lions, Vikings, Colts, Jaguars, Falcons, Panthers, uh, Saints, uh, Buccaneers, Bills, uh, Dolphins, Patriots, uh, Cowboys, Eagles, Raiders, uh, Chargers, Cardinals, 49ers, Seahawks. It's a base 43, cover two, and multiple D playbooks. So you can find this in well over 20 different playbooks. So if you're running um, uh, two-thirds, uh, there's there's a 66% chance you're going to basically have this in your playbook. So if you are not running a 43 under, I recommend you go ahead and jump in the lab and check it out. All right, so once again, it's going to be a 43 under. And um, one of the things I like to do with this particular play is it's, it's critical that you put your best defenders on the edges and at your linebacker spot. So um, I'm rolling with the Chicago Bears. They've actually got pretty good inside uh, players with Eddie Goldman and Akeem Hicks. But I'm going to put these guys on my defensive tackle. So I've got some guys are in the middle of the field that are going to clog up the run. Now, if you're playing draft champions and you pick up this playbook, this is actually this is a really good um, uh, defense to have in your back pocket, especially for playing draft champions, because you know you can have this in two thirds of the books. But uh, you probably want to put your fastest linebackers on the outside. So we've got Raquan Smith, and also I've got Cleo Mack uh, as my rushers on the outside, because I'll be sending these guys in for blitzes. Uh, my inside tackles uh, are going to be my best block shutters. I want to try to use some stout line, and I also want to have speed on the outside. So Aaron Lynch is 83 speed, and I've got Leonard Foy. 86. So um, if you're building on a team, you definitely want to have your best playmakers on the edges, uh, preferably the outside linebackers and the defensive ends. Now, middle linebacker, I'm going to use uh, Danny Trevathan. Uh, ideally, you probably want to have a little bit faster, maybe a bigger linebacker, but uh, for the sake of this breakdown, I want to use Danny Trevathan. Now, uh, it, it's if you are playing draft champions, I'd recommend uh, actually going ahead and drafting outside linebackers because you can put them at the defensive end position. So you definitely want to have at least four, uh, four good playmakers on the edges to help set this defense up. All right, so I'm going to run this play basically with two different types of looks. I'm always going to base the line because I want to have make sure uh, my linebacker is in there so I have edge pressure. Now, what I like to do normally is I like to go ahead and give my opponent a cover three look. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take those safeties that are actually blitzing. I'm going to put them in hook zones uh, for my base coverage. Now, I can I can go ahead and use a hard flat. I can use a clod flat uh, by actually going ahead and adjusting up. Uh, to go in and, and give my opponent that type of a look. I want to go ahead and see what type of a player, what type of routes and, and coverage is going to have. And I'm also going to have that middle defensive tackle drop into a three-hook zone. And the reason I want to, I just want another defender to do that. Now, I'm using this middle linebacker deep, and he's got that deep third. So it is, it's a criti critical that if it is a pass, I've got to fall back deep uh, to go ahead and defend any kind of deep passes because that deep post is, is, is going to be um, a place or an area of that uh, I'm going to be susceptible to a big play. So if I actually see that uh, that the play is wide open, I'm going to just go ahead and just try to, uh, to stop the middle of the field. So let's just take a look at this in instant replay. And this is just the base coverage that I do. Uh, and it's very easy to set up and very fast to set up. And a lot of it's global adjustments. But you can see right here, uh, he's got five receivers. I'm playing the middle of the field. This guy's locked down. Uh, Sideline uh, is pretty much locked down. I've got this guy out. I've got any kind of guy coming down for crossers right over the middle. I've got this guy over here that's taking this out. I've got uh, if he drops if he drops the ball down. I've got the crossers underneath. 
and my job is to, to defend the, the outside of the deep pass so you can see I was actually carrying with him until the ball was given away and then I've got uh, over the top coverage that's going to go and stop that play for me so once again I'm going to set this up and we're going to do underneath coverage. So if I got an opponent that runs a lot of like uh, drag, slants, mesh routes concepts, I've got underneath coverage now. And once again, my responsibility is to play that deep middle. And because uh, I've got uh, basically nine guys in the box, this plays very effective against the run. So you can see right here, he does a little inside pass or inside uh, handoff. And right here, I've got nine guys attacking the box. There's not enough blockers to go and take on all these defenders. And if the, if the defender, if the running back was to cut it back, I've got this guy out here to actually go and clean up for me. And this will take away any of those underneath routes that uh, you can your opponent is going to go ahead and try to throw to. So this is the base defense I like to use right away when I'm actually attacking my uh, setting my opponent up. Now, what's going to happen is you can occasionally run into uh, somebody that runs a lot of hurry up, no huddle type offense. And uh, what I like to do is I like to base the line, and I can actually leave the the blitzing. Uh, defensive backs coming in uh, just to go ahead and give my opponent um, a different type of a look but I do like to rush my linebackers opposed to that so let's see what type of pressure we get and we get some we get some QB or actually a nice rush by the by the line uh, by the uh, defensive backs so you can see right here these guys don't come in too clean but they are blocking six uh, and I was able to go ahead and come clean uh, with my defensive back to go ahead and, and get this guy off of his mark and my responsibility is to play the middle of the field to take away some of those reads. So another way that I set this blitz up is I'll actually go ahead um, and base a line by hitting the left or the triangle Y button and then bringing my, my blitzing linebacker in off to the edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my defensive line and spread them out by hitting the left bumper and pushing spread. And I'm gonna go ahead and crash them in by hitting the left bumper and slanting them on the inside. So this is gonna be kind of the initial look here. Now, um, I don't want to be complacent with the way this blitz is set up. So we're gonna go ahead and take uh, my uh, left of screen safety and actually put him in a hook zone. And to do the other side safety, I'm going to put them in a hook zone. So you do that by hitting the, the, the wire triangle button twice and then selecting the guy and then pulling down on the left stick. So that's how you're going to set this guy up. And then we're going to go ahead and blitz um, our defenders. Now you can do an all blitz by going ahead and hitting the right bumper and blitzing all. That'll set that blitz up and put you in a, play, in a blitzing situation. So if you want to, you can go ahead and take your guy and put him in a mid read or mid, mid third if you if you want to do that. And I like the QB contain too so we can kind of control the edge. Now uh, finally, um, you know, you, you can see right here there's actually a huge disparity with this defense, so you can go ahead and man up your guys, but uh, the, the key to this defense is just making sure we get some fast pressure against them, and if he does any kind of crossing routes over the middle, uh, that's going to be an area. Now, you notice I've got three, uh, three receivers off the edge right there, so that's going to be the area that we want to try to clean up right there. So the computer uses it, it did a screen. So let me go ahead and show you how quick it is to set this defense up. fairly easy. Uh, I've got some pressure off the edge right now. It's going to cause my opponent some issues. And I've got to watch Cobb. That's going to be the area of the field where I'm actually going to have a big hole in the seam. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the cross. You can see right there the pressure comes in against that play action route. And it looks like I'm going to actually get about two different players coming in on this blitz just because the offensive line can't handle it. So I've got the edge pressure coming off. Can't get picked up. It's just because of the way the, the, the pressure comes up and you've got th uh, the, the, the center just can't get over in time to take that out. And I've also got this blitzing guy off the edge too that's going to come in too. So that's what I like about this blitz. It's a good blitz to populate against your opponent once they've actually gone ahead and they've, taken, uh, they've been ran into this, this coverage a couple times with the cover three look. So another way I run it too is actually cover through shell. And this is a little bit more complex, but if you get the button work down, uh, it's fairly simple to do. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is to take that defensive line, spread them out, crash them in. We're going to blitz both outside linebackers. I'm going to take my defensive backs and actually put them in, in um, deep uh, deep halves. I'm going to take my outside, my outside cornerbacks and put them into curl flats. And I'm going to use the guy right over the middle. So what's where the weakness of this particular setup is over the middle of the field. 
So um, this will actually catch you, uh, catch your opponent off guard. So what the, the key to running this defense is just making sure that you're 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 going to have to go ahead and stop your opponent right over the middle. So right there, I didn't go ahead and fall into the spot, but you can see the pressure comes in fairly quick, and, and the, the per, your opponent is really going to have to make a fast read and get rid of the ball fairly quick against you. So you can see this guy was coming in naked. He was not going to get picked up on this, and I've also got this guy actually uh, actually got a nice little block shit too, uh, just because of the coverage. So that pressure is going to come in. If it's a third a third and long type of situation, he's going to have a hell of a hell of a time getting the ball past this past his defense, uh, and he's going to have to throw it right to uh, to my defender. So setting up the defense once again. And you can see the pressure just comes flying in against the CPU. So uh, this really could be a really fun play to go and use against your opponent. Uh, and what's cool about it is you can do other types of coverages too to really, really mess up your opponent. So if you're concerned about getting beat, it beat deep, what you can do is you can actually have that one defender actually play a deep zone and you uh, can actually play uh, a middle read yourself in the middle of the field. But if you give your opponent the same type of a look, you know you've got stout um, defense against the run because those safeties are down in the box. You're playing nine, uh, nine run fits out there. They have to, if they try to run in the middle of the field, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to do that. Uh, and if you've got an opponent that um, likes to air, air the ball out, you can run a lot of coverage against him, and he's going to have he's going to have to figure out how he's going to go ahead and beat this defense. And you can cross man those those safeties uh, to go ahead and give your opponent just a, another confusing look, and it's just it, it just makes it very difficult for him to, to uh, move the ball. This is a defense I, I I stepped away from since this game dropped, but this is definitely a defense I'm going to go ahead and jump into again uh, because it's just very very hard uh, to make reads, and you've got that pressure at any time that you can you can attack your opponent with. So that's what I do like about it. So once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate um, uh, all that you do. Uh, and I'm going to be going ahead and running out, uh, running out more different types uh, of zones uh, and, and different types of defenses to help you guys get more wins uh, in Madden. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.